So here we are with the simulation again. Here's our object, our lens, and our image. And I want to talk about how to find the location of this image uh, if we had to do this problem on our own. So if we were just told um, that you have some object, you were told how far away it is from this converging lens, and you were told the focal length of this lens, how would we figure out, uh, how could we draw a picture to show us where the image is? Uh, and the picture that we're going to draw is called a ray diagram. Uh, so as we saw last time, there are lots of light rays coming off of every point uh, on this pencil, but we can figure out where this image forms by focusing on just three special rays, uh, and these are called the principal rays. So any ray diagram that you want to draw for a converging lens, we're always going to draw these same three rays. Uh, and so we pick a point on our object, usually if it's an arrow or a pencil or something that sort of has a point or a tip, uh, that's usually the position we pick. Uh, and there's three lines that we're going to draw. The first one, the first principal ray, travels straight towards the lens, and when it hits the middle of this lens, it comes out, this lens is going to bend the light, and the way it will bend this specific ray is so that as the ray comes out, it passes through the focal point on the outgoing side and continues on down. So we draw a ray uh, traveling straight into the lens, uh, perfectly horizontal from our point on the object. Then from the middle of the lens, we then draw it coming down, passing through the focal point on the outgoing side. The second principal ray that we draw, again, starts at this same point on the object, the point of the pencil, and it's going to pass directly through the middle of the lens, directly through the middle, and this line actually won't get bent at all. So it's going to pass through the middle of the lens and just keep on traveling straight. That is our second principal ray. And then the third principal ray, again, starting from the tip of our pencil, this one is almost the opposite of the first ray we drew. This one is going to pass through the focal point on the incoming side of our lens, and then once it hits the middle of the lens, it will travel straight out the other side, uh, travel horizontal or perpendicular to the lens on the outgoing side. And you'll notice that all three of these rays converge at a point, and that point becomes the tip of our image. So by drawing these three rays and finding where they converge, where the three rays pass through each other, this is how we can locate the position of our image. Uh, and it will tell us both how far the image is from our lens, how far off to the right our, limit, our image is. It will also tell us how tall our image is. Uh, so again, in this case, our image happens to be inverted. That's fine. Uh, but the distance uh, that these lines cross away from this horizontal line passing through the middle of the lens, what we call the optical axis, the distance where these lines cross from the optical axis tells us the height of our image. Uh, so if I was drawing this from scratch, if I did not have uh, this simulation that I was playing with, um, I would start by drawing the lens and I would draw it bowed out a little bit so I can tell that it's a converging lens. I would then draw the optical axis passing straight through the middle of our lens. I would draw our object, uh, where the bottom of the object sits on the optical axis, uh, drawn up to whatever height uh, the object is. I would then draw one at a time, the first principal ray. Excuse me, before that, uh, I'm on the optical axis, I would need to map, mark the two focal points. Uh, so these two yellow X's, I would want to mark. Then I would draw the first principal ray, draw the second principal ray passing through the middle of the lens, and the third principal ray passing through the incoming focal point, and then straight out parallel to the optical axis. Wherever those three lines cross, I would then draw my image there. And these lines, because they leave the tip of the pencil, where they converge is going to be the tip of the image, and so I would know that this pencil, the image of the pencil here, is upside down, that the tip is below the optical axis rather than above. Uh, and if I drew this accurately, if I actually pulled out a ruler and measured these distances, these distances would all be perfectly accurate, um, meaning that the distances 
uh, the image distance, the image height that I get from this diagram would be the same uh, distances and height that I would get if I solved an algebraic equation, which we'll do in the next video. Uh, and generally we pick the tip of our object to draw these principal rays, uh, but we could do it for any point on our object. Uh, and those rays, those principal rays would converge. They would be the same three principal rays, uh, passing through the outgoing focal point, passing through the middle, passing through the incoming focal point, and those rays would converge making whatever point on the image uh, that corresponds to the point they came from on the object.